Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. Go check out their website www.greathobbies.com And today we have the Traxxas Sledge. If you look at it at first glance, it's a little bit if you're looking like uh, Creighton from Arma. Traxxas and Arma right now are still battling together. Um, yeah, it is a 1.8 machine, 70 miles plus, 6S, 2200 kV motor in it. It is the uh, Villignon uh, system, VXL6, if I remember correctly. <coughs> And they do offer multiple gearings if you want to try to get different kind of speed out of it. Batteries are not included. Don't get me wrong, um, Traxxas does make great products. They do have a good track record. But there is a couple things I don't like. It's like the body clip system they have uh, if you notice on top of the body itself, there's no body clips. On the back here, you have like a, a clip that you press sideways on both sides. Then you can lift, push forward <coughs> to remove the body. You see the clips here? The only thing I don't like about that system is winter time. Here in Canada, uh, let's say it's very cold. They might be become more brittle, easier to, uh, to break. But they did do bodyguards on top. And if you look inside of it, basically they went all, all out. Uh, you do have reinforcement on top of the body to prevent it from caving in if you do flip it. And it has a nice cage. Now, if we look inside the vehicle, <coughs> You'll see the, uh, the mount, and it does accept a fan that I do like. Center brace, very massive. It's a T-shape. Not sure you'll be able to see it, but there's a ridge here and a ridge there. Uh, battery system, no clips. Just pull and reclip. It does have the 2275 digital servo I think that's the middle gears finally <coughs> does have the uh, I don't know the sledge sledge hammer wheels aluminum shocks the arm seems to kind of be reinforced okay now that's just a small plastic easy to bend <coughs> Uh, still a plastic uh, chassis tub, aluminum dry shaft in the middle. It is a uh, center diff that I do like. And I just got a surprise. It is aluminum chassis with basically plastic sides. Traxxas, you're surprising me. Uh, aluminum shock towers front and rear surprise it doesn't come with a wheelie bar but you probably could install one it does have the possibility to put some links to prevent some body rolls <coughs> they did put a guard on top of the pinion Favorite shatters will prevent from going somewhere in the physical body itself. And I do, like I said, I do like this mount. Aluminum mount, able to put a fan on the middle to cool that engine if you are trying to get more speed out of it. The other thing I do love what they did, uh, mud guards for your rear dry shaft. Basically when you're running your vehicle, all your mud from the front tires will go directly here prevent some caking uh, the complete rear drive shafts that I do like and again going back to that center brace it's 
It's massive. And the big bore shocks. <coughs> now, besides that, I would say I do like this vehicle. I would recommend it. Anybody that lo loves these kinds of vehicle, uh, it is awesome. Yes, I don't, like I said, I don't like the body clip mount, but I'm just gonna put this here. It is kind of easy just to, to put back in one-handed. Even to remove it, you pop the clip, pop the clip, lift, pull forward, and your body's off. Eh. Okay, I'm coming back. I kind of like it now. But, like I said, in the winter time here, it's probably not a good system at, if you're outside at minus 20 or minus 30. If you guys have any question or comment, post down below. We'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And go check out Great Hobbies.